And we are back. Welcome back to another Sakura Succubus 4 video. Now, we are literally about to set fireworks with Hazel. If you guys can clearly tell in the title. <laughs> fireworks are being set. Let's do this. Wow. That was a super big one. The colors are very beautiful. It's unfurling in the sky like the petals of a flower. Hmm. It's not like these fireworks are anything special. I've seen better in my time. I'm not being so mature. I'd be impressed by the heart tree display like this, but... I guess they are coming pretty. They remind me of shooting stars. They are nice, right? Aren't you glad I bought them? Glad is a bit of an overstatement. I'm indifferent, really. <laughs> You're so tough to please, eh, you, but don't worry. The next volleyball is going to knock your sock off. Are you ready, Marina? I'm ready when you are. Okay, you can light the next batch. Right. That should do it. Ooh. The rockets are going at a very high speed. They have disappeared into the sky. I wonder where they're going to explode. The waiting adds to the experience. It feels like we're at a real festival. Yes, indeed. All that's missing is the goldfish scooping and the stalls selling takoyaki. <laughs> Speaking of which, I am rather partial to festivals. They take place at shrines, too. Please, enough about the shrine. Haven't we left that behind us? Very, very far behind us in the forest where it belonged. I have no desire to go back either. It was creepy and dilapidated, and I bet it was full of bugs. Bugs can be charming, you know. Not cockroaches or wood lice. Hey, look, you guys, here it comes. How charming. They're red and yellow and green. My, my, they're simply beautiful. They're pretty impressive, actually. I have quite a little opinion of Hazel at the times, but she outdid herself with the fireworks. They are lovely. Were they expensive? Maybe a bit. But the money's no object. I wanted to make this holiday one to remember. And it certainly is. You have excelled yourself. Goodness me, these fireworks are beautiful. The film is odd, sigh, coupled with the popping of the fireworks drift down the beach, carrying the crisp night air. Hifumi, Hazel, Marina, and Ayu looks like they're having a lot of fun. But Cosmos is kneeling a little way apart from them, playing with a sparkler. She looks a bit lonesome on her own. Should I join her? Stop! Before you continue on with the video, I want to ask you guys a couple questions. Are you struggling with sleeping? Are you struggling with dehydration? Are you struggling with having energy in the morning, day and night when it comes to gaming? I got a solution for y'all. Head on over to Poggers. This is going to be one of the few drinks that they actually released and it's actually really, 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 really cool. Um, they even released their new flavor last month, which is Rocket Pop. Make sure to go ahead and check them out. Link in the description down below. Use creator code ZM for 10% off your order. Enjoy the video, everybody. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, I think I've, I'll see what she's doing. I don't want her to be left out. I approach Cosmos, who's starring wide-eyed as sparklers and kneels down beside her. <laughs> that is adorable. <laughs> That's adorable. She's so adorable. I swear she is. Hey, Cosmos, you having fun? Oh, Hiki. Cosmos turns to beam at me, her eyes glittering. This is incredible. Take a look at this. The sparkler is so bright and um sparkly. I guess it would be. The clue is in the name. I guess so. <laughs> Maybe I'm too old to get excited by stuff like this, but I think it's pretty cool. Cosmos stares at the sparkler pinched between her fingertips, her eyes wide. She's wearing her bikini again, which seems a bit of an odd choice, given the lateness of the hour. Uh, just let it go. <laughs> None of the others occupy are in their swimsuits. 
Cosmos even changed out of her swimsuit earlier when she sat down in her living room to eat Havumi's cooking. But Cosmos is a simple being. She's been running on one equation throughout the vacation, namely that being on the beach equals wearing a swimsuit. Anything else would be cyclic. Her swimsuit clings onto her curves, and I swear the frog's cattail attached to her rear is twitching. Her fingers are curling delicately at the steam of the sparkler, and it's with no s small amount of enthusiasm she's looking at me. Don't you think this is cool? I can write my name with it. Look! Cosmos flickers her wrist, and in doing so, spells out her name. I can see the letters in the air for a few seconds before they disappear. It's just like magic. Eh, it's funny you say that. Being a succubus, you can actually use magic. Compared to your powers, this shouldn't be anything too special. But it is special. The fireworks are pretty, but so is the sparkle. And I'm on the beach with you, and I'm having lots of fun. You know? Cosmos shifts a little closer to me, smiles gently as she does so. I've never seen fireworks before, or used a sparkler. It's all pretty new to me. Really? I blinked and perplexed. I thought you said you've seen um, fireworks at the festival. I have in animes, mangas, and in TV dramas, but I've never seen fireworks in real life before. I haven't been in the human realm for that long, and when I first came here, I didn't have anybody to go with. Though I wanted to. I asked a you, but she said she was too busy. And anyway, she wouldn't want to be seen dead with me. Cosmos sighs. I was kind of lonely when I first came in here. This was before I started my Rapid Pound account, so I didn't have any fans, let alone friends. I spent most of my time watching animes and reading mangas, trying to make myself feel less lonely. It kind of worked. But when I saw the characters going to festivals or the beaches or the theme parks, it made me feel even sadder. I wanted some friends too, that I could go out and have fun with. I was afraid it would never happen. I'm kind of awkward, in case you haven't noticed. <laughs> but Cosmos scoots closer still, her bare shoulder brushing mine. She grips her sparkler tightly. Like a talesman, her smile serene. Then I met you. I fell in love with you the moment I saw you. And I was really, really glad that we could be together. We've had so many fun experiences already, and I bet there's even more fun on the horizon. When I'm with you, my heart feels all light and trim. It's like all my worries have disappeared. I'm glad to hear it. I feel happy when I'm with you, too. You're the most adorable girlfriend in all the world. And you're the most wonderful boyfriend. <laughs> Cosmo giggles to herself, contented. A brief silence passes between us, broken by a pop of fireworks, which now sounds very distant, and Hifumi wandering exclamations. Then Cosmo speaks up, her voice soft and sweet. The beach is so pretty at night, where all the stars are so peaceful. I was wondering, um... Would you mind staying out here with me for a bit longer? When all the others go back? I'd like to... I'd like, I'd like to if we could spend some private time together, just the two of us. I'm not very good with words, so maybe if I wanted to say it, it's coming out right. But with actions, I should be able to properly show you how I feel. I think I got a pretty good idea already. Cosmos isn't exactly the queen of subtlety. But sure, I don't mind. I'd love to spend more time with you. Just the two of us. <laughs> hey, thank you very much, Hideki. You won't regret it. I'm sure I won't. As questionable as some of Cosmo's wardrobe choices are, she's too cute not to spend time with. Oh, yeah, I'm going to end it here. This shit's not fucking working. I need to take a break. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure to leave a like. Also, hit the subscribe button if you are new to the channel. It's been Zach, guys. Later.